All right, welcome back to the RootBSD Technology Channel. Today, I am proud to announce that OpenBSD 7.1 has been released. Um, it's we, uh, everyone has been uh, long anticipating this release. There has been a lot of improvements, and uh, we're just going to go through some of those improvements and uh, just kind of I'm going to download uh, an ISO. I am streaming this from uh, Linux right now, but I do plan on uh, making this a dual boot system. So uh, absolutely, let's let's get started. So in case anybody doesn't know, OpenBSD is a free multi-platform 4.4 BSD-based Unix-like operating system. So it's a fork of NetBSD. Uh, it's been in development for well over 20 years now uh, by some of the, uh, the world's most uh, talented and skilled uh, developers. It, it is a very um, uh, security-focused, portable, and um, uh, operating system that is very minimal and um, and very innovative in its approach to security and security technicians and, and mitigate or I'm sorry security techniques and mitigations um, I just you know I, I saw this today and I was just like man I got I got to get this <laughs> this video out because uh, I, I wasn't I didn't we didn't know at any day now when the release was so I want to be the first person to get a video out about the release so sorry if I sound a little nervous or um, you know, I just kind of put myself on the spot about this, but definitely if you go to uh, HTTPS uh, OpenBSD.org, um, you can download uh, OpenBSD or maybe just check out uh, what it's all about in case you're in, you're interested or maybe you want to run it in a virtual machine. So this uh, this release is, uh, they have two types of releases. They have uh, the, the uh, a stable release that they do once every six months, and that does get uh, uh, security patches and some of the ports do have backport uh, uh, bug fixes so uh, if you want to run that it's a little bit uh, more stable uh, I mean well even our their development branch is really stable but if you if you want um, that kind of peace of mind you know you can start out by running OpenBC 7.1 uh, release and uh, just you know continue to uh, 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 check the uh, uh, let's see here you continue to check uh, patches so right now there's no patches, but you can see here with 7.0, uh, every so often when any kind of uh, security or reliability uh, uh, issues were found, they were fixed, and you just use the syspatch utility to uh, to fix it. So let's see here. Um, or you can run the development uh, branch, which is called uh, dash current, and that's a little bit more bleeding edge. Uh, it's, you know, usually there are snapshots released every day or every other day. Um, and that's just where the currently where the source tree is, is at and you can always uh, get the, uh, get the sources uh, either via and on CVS they have a github mirror or using CVS web um, so let's take a look at the change log uh, right now here so uh, they've updated uh, open SSH to 9.0 um, let's see stop suspending stop suspending the TPM device upon hibernation preventing some systems from hanging when hibernating a second time um, some new uh, uh, let's see fixed R R RDR2 rules failing on certain port ranges when explicitly says specified. Okay, so a lot of these uh, security improvements are they're technical. Um, added some more support for this looks like a bug fixes for uh, this looks like a wireless driver U R E. Oh, it's a USB Ethernet based adapters based on the real tech. Okay, so definitely they're adding uh, more driver support. Uh, uh, patches on certain drivers so basically they're improving a lot of the the, the hardware um, uh, compatibility you know that's that's a big complaint that some people have is just hardware compatibility and that is definitely uh, being improved um, let's see it reinstated a DRM workaround to get frame buffer size for me if I'm okay um, just kind of looking looking through this to see anything that um, might be like uh, you know uh, a big big news you know a lot of this stuff is just kind of more just those subtle uh, fixes and tweaks to just kind of improve the quality of OpenBSD and improve its compatibility. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of different uh, like, like fixed a small uh, NT. That's the the uh, the time syncing daemon that uh, keeps your computer uh, time synced with um, you know with uh, your time zone with the proper time, and that's that's to help prevent uh, you know SSL errors and, and those kind of uh, there's kind of attacks that can happen based on um, uh, your computer having the in incorrect time um, so yeah definitely a lot of cool stuff here you can go through this list yourself uh, see if any of this stuff um, 
uh, you know, is maybe there w there was an issue you had with the previous version, OpenBSD 7.0, and maybe uh, one of these little things in here may help uh, your hardware to work better or, or make uh, allow a certain uh, piece of hardware that you had to uh, start working. You know, the support was added. Um, let's see, Tmux option to control if it scrolls into history on clear. Uh, so, so definitely Tmux has, uh, has been added uh, features and options to it. Um, the Libra SSL library has been updated. Um, uh, a crash in the sound IO daemon has been fixed. Um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. I mean, they're very uh, they're very uh, detailed here to let you know all the different uh, things that have been changed from version 7.0 to 7.1. Um, so really neat stuff. Uh, see, uh, sound IO daemon internal sample representation has been. Uh, Switch to 24-bit fixed point, uh, also with AUCAT, so definitely um, improvements in the uh, audio stack. That's that's going to be really neat. I uh, can't wait to play around with uh, some of that stuff. I, I do, uh, I am very familiar with kind of goofing around with uh, sound IO daemon, and I definitely want to do a video about that. Um, so a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, some a lot of this stuff is technical, and I don't, <laughs> I don't claim to be like an expert in any of this. You know, like a lot of this stuff. Um, but it's really neat. I, it's just really neat seeing the work, the hard work that's going into this project, the commitment by its development team and its community. Um, you know, uh, thank thank you to all the users that are submitting these bug reports, that are uh, letting developers know what's going on, uh, and uh, you know, just really really neat stuff. You know, updated at the X server, uh, all all this stuff. So a lot of this stuff has been going on over the past uh, six months. And, um, yeah, uh, you know, you can go through this list yourself and, and check it out. Um, uh, I, I think I'm really excited. I think this is really neat. Uh, I've, I've heard from people that the that hardware and device support has improved greatly, and they are adding new, um, new things to it. The, uh, the, the Linux DRM from the 5. Point, uh, I think it's the 5.10 kernel. The Linux DRM has been ported over to OpenBSD, so that's going to bring in a lot of newer... Uh, Radeon cards. I know Zany uh, is, is uh, his um, AMD GPU is very new and it's it's fully supported, and he's using a much newer uh, uh, set of hardware. He has a uh, Ryzen, I think it's a 5700G. If I'm, I'm hoping I'm getting that correct, and uh, all that stuff is working very well for him. Uh, the only thing, the only problem he had was more on the hardware end of just getting a proper airflow to his power supply and stuff like that. But uh, he's been live streaming from OpenBSD. Um, from uh, 7.0, so I can't wait to see uh, him uh, update to uh, uh, 7.1. And if you are running OpenBSD 7.0, you just you it, it's, it's super simple. It's just do as this upgrade will will take you from 7.0 to 7.1. And if you ever want to try out current, you can switch to current, but you can't ever go back once you make do this command. But it's do as sys upgrade. That's just S Y S upgrade minus S for snapshot. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna download this. So usually what I like to do where I live, um, I like to go down to alternative mirror sites where I live. This server here in Alberta, Canada, I don't live in Canada, but this server for some reason is like the fastest server I've found out of all, most of the ones that are like within, you know, like I guess a, a you know, thousand mile radius of me. <laughs> but this server right here, I really like it. It's extremely snappy and fast. You see how quickly that loaded up. Uh, some of the others, you know, I've just noticed some, some BSD servers out there can be a little on the slow side. Um, so usually, yeah, you just go to AMD64. Now, what you want to do if you're new to installing OpenBSD, you definitely uh, uh, use the ISO if you're going to be writing to a CD or a DVD. Uh, uh, OpenBSD has switched over to the .img format. I think they started this in 7.0. 7, uh, 7 so you want to install OpenBSD7.1.img, and then you do just a simple uh, 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 DD command. So it's going to look like this. Here, let me get out a uh, full screen here. Yes, I know. I'm not running OpenBSD currently to make this video. I was kind of on short notice. Um, I do plan on using what I'm downloading right now to uh, and, and setting up a kind of a dual boot situation because I still want to use Linux for some audio production things. And uh, and that's you know somebody be, might be like, oh, we'll see. I, if you don't even want to fully commit to OpenBSD, blah blah. You know, it's not about that. It's just about using the right tool for the right job. Right now, a lot of uh, Linux um, synthesizers and audio uh, production software, they just aren't available at OpenBSD, and I just I don't have the, ex the experience or the know-how to port them uh, as of yet. Um, you know, that might change in the future. Um, so basically, uh, 
what you want to do, oh, sorry. What you want to do is you, if you're on a Linux system, it'd be sudo dd if equals install 71.img of equals generally on on you know USB on a Linux system is going to be a, a dev um oh it's a SDB I believe dev SDB and you can find out by by typing LSB okay that's just list block devices so yes uh, so I don't have it I don't have it plugged in but if, let me plug in my my USB here real quick one second ah. so I got almost all my ports on the front of the PC all taken up right now ah get in there there we go so there we go. So yeah, go away. So uh, yeah, dev stb is what you want. So uh, so we can go back to uh, sudo uh, dd if equals install 71.img of equals dev stb. Uh, you can just do byte size equals one megabyte, and uh, that's all you need to do. If you want, you can you can do status equals progress too. And that's all you have to do. Um, let's see, has it finished? Failed. Somehow the install failed. Okay, I don't know why. It says it's going to take about three minutes. Um, oh, there we go. See, I told you this server's pretty good. Look how look how quickly that's downloading. I, I do like this this server in Alberta is 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 is, is a beast. <laughs> so uh, so we can just um, we can just control C, CD downloads. There we go. Sudo if equals I can't type for crap today <laughs> install 71.img of equals dev stb byte size equals one megabyte status equals progress very good and uh, you know on Linux it's just instant because <laughs> Linux does have some some good uh, USB drivers uh, if you're doing this on OBSD it'll take maybe a little longer uh, you know, using a, a just a regular USB port, um, but yeah, that's all. And uh, uh, I will make a video uh, on the install process uh, here really shortly, probably over the weekend uh, when I on my days off. But uh, really excited! Uh, OpenBSD 7.1 released today. Uh, great artwork. We can check out here. Uh, oh, this is the list I should have read. <laughs> so yeah, so they added support for Apple Silicon Max, um, uh, which is really cool. Uh, I'm assuming that's talking about M1 support. Uh, support for other ARM Im Im architectures uh, was also improved with the following changes. So it's so definitely work on ARM and RISC-V, uh, various kernel improvements, um, improving tracking of, of MBUF memory usage in the whole system, switch to using long file names by default with mount MS-DOS, fix the memory leak in Fuse. Oh yeah, I remember a developer talking about how the fuse driver had some issues. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so you can definitely just just click on on the picture of the puffer fish. Don't do what I did earlier earlier in the video and go to the change log because it's a little. Is this is a little bit more organized and put together? That other one was was maybe a little bit more technical. So um, yeah, improved like, improved a lot of hardware support and uh, driver bug fixes. So really neat, you know. I'm, I might not see a lot of this stuff because I use old hardware that's already pretty fully supported. But maybe on a lot of your guys' newer devices, you might actually see some 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 good uh, improvements. You know, improvements to wireless network drivers. Uh, added uh, 802.11 NTX uh, aggregation support to the IWX driver. Stuff like that. I'm not going to bore you by going through every single one of these, but uh, you you definitely should check it out. Uh, try it out in a VM or install it uh, to a spare computer you know I'm not you know I like I, I've said in the past I, I, you know I'm not I'm never saying that you should just leave Linux or Windows or whatever you're using that OpenBSD is just gonna be the best thing for you and that everything else is trash that's no no that's not what I'm saying at all um, OpenBSD has improved a lot um, it's really great for the desktop you know I'm just I'm using Linux for other reasons but I have OpenBSD on my laptop I just don't have a really a rice set up right now for it so I just I thought that'd be kind of ugly and also um, I'm, you know, uh, it, long story short, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna install this on my, my desktop too. Um, I am running Dash Current on, uh, the, the laptop. So, um, yeah, definitely if you have a, a spare, spare machine, uh, even it, it does install on Raspberry Pis, even though you gotta follow the instructions on the, inst uh, the install.arm, uh, 
64 uh, or uh, ARM V7 and, and follow the instructions and they're very clear about what you ha need to do to get them uh, working on Raspberry Pis. Um, so really neat stuff and uh, y'all have a great day and uh, RootBSD out.